At CES, Sony called it the best camera in a waterproof smartphone, a claim T-Mobile USA is all too happy to reiterate on its website. But our experience with Sony smartphone shooters over the years has been an inconsistent one. So we wanted to test the Xperia Z1S for ourselves to see just how well its camera performs. Fortunately, the folks at T-Mobile USA were able to send us a review unit. And while it is a little too late for a full review, it's never too late to have some fun with smartphone photography. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this is a test of the Sony Xperia Z1S camera both above and beneath the waves. The Z1S certainly isn't lacking for optical prowess on the spec sheet. A 20.7 megapixel autofocus camera sits around back and packs a 27 millimeter f2 sensor with up to three times lossless zoom and an LED flash. All of it controlled by something we always love to see, a hardware shutter key on the phone's side. Pressing and holding that shutter key fires up the viewfinder software, and Sony's is one of the better implementations we've seen. If you've ever used a Sony mirrorless camera, you'll probably be familiar with the iconography, the shooting modes, even the sound effects are the same. We'd like to see more manual controls offered, a complaint that persists from our time with the earlier Z1, but otherwise there's an awful lot to play with here. It's just a fun software experience, particularly when you dig down into the various modes like picture effect, which allows you to apply various quote unquote artistic effects to a photo, like sketch, if you want to look like you're in a 1985 music video from AHA, or Harris Shutter, if you want to see the world through Geordie LaForge's visor. There's also room for modes that can plug in from third-party apps like Evernote, and even a home screen widget, so you can jump right into the mode of your choice, which is convenient. In more traditional still photography, the camera defaults to 8.3 megapixel shots, and in open air settings, performance can venture into the truly excellent outdoors in balanced afternoon lighting. Some shots offer colors that are more muted than real life, but others are vibrant and gorgeous. We probably have the intelligent auto filter to thank for that inconsistency, but on the whole, the camera delivers solid photos viewed at normal size. It's only when you zoom in that you start to see Sony's characteristic color modeling, which we're disappointed but not necessarily surprised to see. And that fuzziness is only amplified in low light shots, which do a good job of brightening up a scene. These photos came out much brighter than the true life conditions. But even a small bit of magnification reveals the loss of detail you have to deal with in exchange. These photos are all available at Pocket Now in the link in the description below if you want to take a closer look for yourself. Under good daylight conditions, video is nice. You'll notice a smooth shot here, something we took to be digital stabilization until we took a closer look at the lens and saw the camera module moving when activated. True to T-Mobile's word, this is hardware image stabilization, resulting in a nice, clear picture. The frame rate's a little low in the default setting, but otherwise we have very few complaints in the open air. As you might have gleaned from some of our device photography, it's pretty cold outside. So rather than test underwater performance in the Charles River, we opted instead for a kitchen sink, a pretty dull testing site, which we promptly livened up with a koosh ball, a baking soda powered submarine, and a crashing Starship Enterprise. Underwater shooting is still pretty challenging due to display visibility problems and the tendency of the screen to get a little wacky on first immersion, but it's worth the trouble. If you can keep the object you're shooting in the frame, the clarity of the footage is outstanding, and the autofocus does a good job, even in changing lighting conditions. Stills, too, are impressive under the waves, and here's where that hardware shutter key really earns its money, because half press to focus works just as well underwater as above. At first glance, this koosh ball almost looks like it was photographed in a professional studio, floating in some ethereal mist, but loaded with color. And though the submarine here starts in a distant, out-of-focus cloud, it resolves into a beautiful close-up. Honestly, I don't recall ever seeing underwater results this good from a smartphone camera. Once again, if you want to see them close up, all these photos are available to review in full size at Pocket Now. We proved with last month's smartphone guessing game that phone shooters can surprise you. And surprised is a good word to describe my feelings toward this camera. Is it the best I've ever used? No. Would I want to use it if I took most of my pictures in low light settings? Also no. 
But is it capable of capturing great photos? Absolutely. And I didn't expect that, given my experiences with Sony's smartphone cameras of the past. Plus, the viewfinder software is some of the best thought out and most responsive I've used, so I don't really mind if I have to try a photo again. Is it, in fact, the world's best camera on a waterproof smartphone? Well, given the wide range of shooting modes, that reliable hardware camera key, and the great results we were able to get underwater, let me put it this way. We can't say it isn't the world's best underwater smartphone camera. We'd have to try every one in the world to ultimately prove or disprove it, but given our excellent experience here, Sony's claim is tough to challenge. If you're a swimmer looking for an excellent freshwater smartphone shooter, the Z1S is probably the best you can hope for right now. And it's pretty good even if you're a landlubber, too. Everyone, you know where you can find the full-size sample images you saw in this video. Click the link down in the description below. It'll take you right to pocketnow.com. And on your way, please drop us a like if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, stay tuned for more on the Z1S, including a comparison with the Z1 Compact, coming very soon. Until next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Please follow us on social media if you don't already. But most importantly, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Fortunately, T-Mobile USA... Damn, why can't that frame rate... Ah, oh, God, I need to know more about photography. Fortunately, T-Mobile USA was able to send us a review unit, and while it's a little too late for a full review, it's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late to have some fun. You f***ers. I'll have to do... What's the out looking like? SIM card removed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually not good at all.